So, hi everyone, I'm Melody and I'm going to talk about the IP address. Um, what is IP address? Some of you don't familiar about IP address and before I search about this, the content of this video, of course, I'm not also familiar with this. And I'm going today that I'm learning on what is IP address and I'm going to discuss about to you the IP address. Yes, IP address. So, um, when texting is not common for everyone, back way on the times of our lolas and lolas, writing letters is common for everyone. Especially when you want to write something for your loved ones, you are going to write in a paper, um, write your the things you want to to say, then put it in an envelope. And in the envelope, there are the important things, or you need to put these important things in the envelope for the letter will be sent to the person you want to read that. So, that thing is this address. So, address is needed to be put on that envelope for the letter will be sent on the right person. So, as, so if you were finished on writing those, those letters, put the correct address, put your address if, you, if the person you want to of the person you were given this the this letter want to receive that then want to tell you a reply so you must need it to put your address also then when you and then after that process then you will go to the post office then give it to them to the officer there then the postman or responsible in carrying your letter will be sent will be or will be read the address that you put there to make sure that that the person and as you can see in the illustration the mail man give give the letter to the right person this is the the people the person which the girl wants to give the letters so, on the back of the letter, he write the, the address of this young boy. Then, the letter will be sent and received by the right person. So, that is how an IP address used in the internet. So, especially, um... Have you wondered on how those data you've been searching on the internet come through your come or received by your computer or devices? Um, those data that you were searching or you want to find on the internet is received by your computer or by your devices. It is because of the IP address. Each devices or each Computers, laptop, or anything that you were used today has an its own IP address, which when you were searching or when you were requesting a data or down, um, either chatting or communicating to others, I um in the internet IP address uses um your IP address is uses in order to, for those data to be sent on you. Imagine those. Imagine what happened if if each devices don't have IP address. Maybe some of the the information will be sent to the other devices that is not your device. So it's risky. So um, IP address is also used in downloading. So when you were click this download. Or especially when you were downloading, load, are uh, going to download videos on YouTube's or 
anything you want to download of course it is needed that there will be an IP at this need or it is needed um, your IP it, your IP address because by the use of IP address your downloads will be received by the right devices that you were not now using so let's give an a brief definition about the IP address so IP address is a unique series of numbers which identify computers through the internet so IP address don't it's just like a series of numbers combination of numbers that is separated by that or column which is the importance of that it is it is the one who identify or it is identify your computer yes your computer through the internet so it means it is like ip address is your name which which um, identifies you so so there are different types or two types of ip address two types of ip address it is ipv4 and ipv6 so let's elaborate more about what is ipv4 and ipv6 so this is an this is an example of ipv4 um numbers or combination of numbers like 192.168.1.2 which is four numbers separated by a dots or periods this separated by this and as you can see this little girl was putting a dots on bit between of one and two which separates those numbers and so IP address or IPv4 um, each numbers this each number numbers are can be each number can be zero or two two hundred fifty five it will be zero one hundred two hundred two fifty four eh, or any number that is only included on a given group which is 0 to 225 so as you can see on the illustration the girl was crying because his PC he showed an IP address to his best friend PC or personal computer but those good that her computer don't understand those numbers he given to him like the 192.168.12 so those numbers there's decimal numbers can be understand by the computer so it is needed what's what would we do what, what would we needed to do so it it is needed to be convert to binary binary is a combination of num of numbers that is ones or even zeros one or zeros only so so that the in the illustration as you can see the pc is happy because he can understand what the girl was showing to to the to him so so as you can see on the illustration or this animation or whatever so as you can see the girl is holding a card which, which is um read uh which is it has a number that is one or zeros that one one zero 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 and as you notice this first line with a dot represented or represent this one nine two or the first number so this is the conversion of those numbers into a binary form 
Then, so IPv4 has 32 ones or zeros. As you can see, 8, 8, 8, 8. This is an 8, 1 or zeros, 8, 1 or zeros, 8, 1, 1 or zeros, 8, 1 or zeros. So 8 times 4 is 32. So as so that's why IPv4 is 32 1 or zeros or 32 bits. Remember, IPv4 is 32 bits. Yes, 32 bits. Then, boom. Oh, what's the problem with that 32 bits? As I mentioned a while ago. So, it's because 32 bits or this IPv4 can be two raised to 32 devices that can be connected to the internet. So, there are two raised to 32 devices only. So, it is equivalent to 4, 294, 96, 296, or 6, 7, but are this is only the amount of the number that can be connected to the internet. So this is only few. Imagine billions of peoples, peoples around the world and each has multiples of devices that are connected to the internet. And this is only the devices that are that was connected that is that can be connected in the IPv4 to the internet. So, how about the other devices? So, the other devices cannot be, be, cannot be used or cannot be connected to the internet. So, that's the problem. So, that's why IPv6 is made. So, what is what they call the IPv6? Yes, what the IPv6? So... As you can see on the screen, this is an example of an IPv6. It's 2001, 0D, 8B8. As you can see, there's a letters on are uh, in are involved or together with the numbers. Like D, B, A, C, F, E. So it is because this is an 8 hexadecimal numbers with or separated by this colon. As you can see, it is separated by the colon. So, so this is the IPv6. On, on the IPv4, it is separated by dots or periods. In IPv6, it was separated by columns. So, IPv6 is 128 ones or zeros, or what we call 128 bits. So, remember, IPv6 is 128 bits, while in IPv4, it is 32 bits. So, since it is 128 bits, it is 2 raised to 128 that can be, or devices that can be connected on the internet. So, imagine this 2 raised to 128 is so many. So, it is equals to these numbers. It is too long to read. Imagine, this is too many and and may end the, uh, it is exceed on, or too many, yes, as too many. As you can see, the girl on the, on the illustration is, say it's, it's too many, yes, it's too many, and that, that the other gener generation can be used. So, since there are millions of, or billions of people around the world, and most of them are uses multiple devices so through this ipv6 
every device can connect in the internet, so no problem. So, in IP address, so next, we're going to talk to, about is the IP address, so the classification or classified of the IP address. There are two classification of the IP address. It is the dynamic, then the static. So, let's talk about what's the dynamic first. Dynamic. So, dynamic. From the word itself, dynamic means it is changing, continuous changing. So, in dynamic IP address, when you connect in the in your mobile or laptops in the internet, your ISP, what is the meaning of ISP? Internet Service Provider. Provide IP address. Yes, provide the IP address to your devices. From the range of the uh, only from the range of only available um, IP address on them on the, from the range of only available IP address. So if you log out and if you're not connected to the internet and you connect again to the internet, so another another IP address will be assigned to you. It is different from the first IP address that was assigned in you by, by your internet service provider. So, as you connect and disconnect, connect and disconnect on the internet, your IP address is continuous changing. So, that's what we call dynamic IP address. So, next is the static. Static IP address. What is static? Means, stick to one. Oh, stick to one. <laughs> um, it is never changed. And it is permanent internet address. Uh, it is used by the DNS servers. So the so what is the DNS server? So DNS servers help you to open a web, uh, open a website to your computer. So DNS servers the one to help you in opening a website if you want to open the web sample www.melody.com. This is a non-dominating system. So, so that is an static IP address. Oh, there's a problem in the static IP address. Since it is not changing, it is provides such information that um, especially the continent where you were using the, your devices and the location of your devices and also your internet service provider so when the in, when the internet service provider is known it is easily to trace so it is easily to trace is it easy to, to trace the location of the device that connected the internet. The location. It is easily to trace the location of the devices. So, static IP address is less secure and it is easily to track. But, there are some... So, but, as an internet user, of course, you are providing... Um, some safety practices, safety internet practices to help you to be secure in using internet. So, next topic is, yes, now we're going to talk about how to convert IP address to binary. So, I'll give you an um, example. So, this is an example of IP address, the 192.168.1.2. So how? Hmm. How to convert that? So let's start. So this is this is the IP address 192.168.1.2. So as you can see on this side where there's a lot of zeros or, or can be I can I can write also that as a one, but I prefer zeros. So there's a and in the top of that is a 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. 
Remember these numbers in, in converting that. And 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So, to convert this first. So, convert. let us convert first this number, the 192. That, of course. So, we need this 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So, let's find numbers on these. That if we are going to add, it is equals to 192. So, as you can see, we put 1 in 128, 1 in 164. So, as we add 128 plus, 100, uh, plus 64, it is equals to 192. So, the rest that is not used remain as zeros. So, this is the equivalent or binary of the 192. So, next is the 168. Let's convert next to 168. So, 168, same process that we're going to do. So, in 168, we put 1 in 128, leave 64, 0, 1 in 32, leave 16, 0, and 1 to 8, and the rest is remain 0. Then, when we add 128 plus 32 plus 8, it is equal to 168. So, this is the binary conversion of 162. I, or, I mean 168. So, I won't, con um, I won't show, I don't show, uh, I won't show you the, on how to convert this 1 and 2 because it's the same process. I just convert the biggest numbers. So, so after you convert this, we're going to write the answer. So 192 that 168 that one that two to binary is equals to one one zero 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 plus uh that one zero one zero one zero zero then zero zero and one. This is the conversion of I told you the one and this is the conversion of the two. As you can see. So that's it. That's easy and how to convert the IP address to binary. So, so for this video, um, that's all and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. So, bye-bye.